So this is how you can see all of your photos in the Apple Watch. So if you would like to generally know how many photos you have and some have some information about it, I would recommend you to open up the Watch app on your iPhone. In the storage section, you can see it's not that useful. It doesn't tell you much, but when you come back to the About section within a general, that's again the main Watch app, General, then About. And in here, you can see how many photos you have on your Apple Watch, how many songs and apps on all the stuff, you know, you can see the capacity available storage. So you can see I have 11 photos and that is because I have it set up that way. So still within the watch app on your iPhone, scroll down on the main section and locate the photos menu. So tap on photos and you have some options in here. So photo syncing, I have it turned on, which automatically will add photos to your Apple Watch from your iPhone, some like chosen ones. You can see also featured photos will appear on the watch, memories as well. But this is just the stuff which gets selected by the watch. If you want all of your photos to show up, you have to choose to sync album. So right now you can see that my synced album is favorites, which only contains like eight photos. If I want all of my photos to show up, I can click on Recents, and that means that all of the 316 photos will appear on my Apple Watch. So you can choose the albums of the photos which you want to show up on your Apple Watch. Keep in mind that there are some limits. As you can see right below it, there is a photo limit, which I have set to 100 photos, and the maximum is 500. So you cannot really put more than this on your watch. So if you have like thousands of photos on your iPhone, you will not have the ability to put them all on your Apple Watch. Only this is the limit and you can choose which album it's gonna pick from and also like the memories can show up there as well, but that's kinda how it all works and that's all that you can do about it. I really do hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button to let me know about it. Any thoughts, let me know about them in the comments and subscribe because I publish a couple of different tutorials each day, so you might find something useful. Go ahead and do that. I'll see you in the next one.